What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Married Movie Challenge with your host, Mick Manhattan, and Mary the Mommy. We are back again, and it is a special Friday the 13th episode of the Married Movie Challenge. It is. Is it another special day? It is. I think so. It is. It's Friday the 13th. Yeah. Oh, we said that already. Yeah, we said that. It's your birthday. So it's my birthday. Yes, that's right, everybody. It's my birthday. So... Uh, Mary the Mommy decided to give me this with the Friday the 13th. We're going to pick one Friday the 13th movie. Um, so whoever gets chosen, as you know, out of all the names in the bowl, we pick, the, uh, yeah, that person picks what we're watching. That's so right. when we're choosing from between Friday the 13th movies. That's right. Okay. I mean, um, I don't know why you still continue to pick movies because I always win. So. No, nope, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. It's my birthday. Oh, hey. one fell out. I, okay. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Go ahead. No rigging. No rigging. No rigging. All right. What we got? <gasps> Mike. Aha! I finally got to <laughs> choose one. And it's birthday karma. I was thinking it would be Jason X originally mm -hmm. when we discussed this, but I'm going to go with Jason, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, the final chapter, which is the fourth part, because... Uh, Joe Bob Briggs and Darcy are doing a viewing party tonight. Oh, nice. So starting at 9. Darcy's on my list. Oh, God. Everybody's on your list. That's not true. John Krasinski's on your list. Right. Mark well, Wahlberg's Mark, on your no, list. No, I took Mark Wahlberg off because now he's all Catholic. Too many, too many people on our not list. Not going to waste the spot. But... It's so fair. Whatever. Right. Um, Joe Bob is also on so, my list. Of course. So, uh, yeah, so we are going to watch along. Yes. And this is your first viewing. It is. It so is. you're excited. You've seen a couple of them. You yeah. haven't seen this one. It's a good one. Yeah. So I didn't pick a bad one. I, I actually a good didn't one. know that um, Corey got his start yeah. in these movies. I don't know if this was his first movie or not, but it was definitely one of his very first right. early movies. Yeah. Um, I'd have to double check that, and I'll yeah, I'm excited. find that out for us afterwards. But. Yeah. Uh, when we come back. But yeah, so anyway, we're going to watch uh, the final chapter of the of Friday the 13th, um, which is, as you all know as fans, is not the final chapter at all. Oh, it's not the final chapter? Nope, there's many more movies afterwards. So uh, we're going to we're gonna go watch it, we're going to come back, and we're going to review it for you. Mary's first viewing, I'll tell you what I think of it, and we'll go from there. And we're going to get to watch it with Joe, Bob, and Darcy yes. live via, I think it's uh, Twitter, we're live tweeting and, uh, and showing it on there. Twitter so. and show? And the rest of the mutant fam. Yes. I love it. Yes. All right. Well, stay tuned, and uh, we'll be back after we watch it. Take care. See ya. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we just got done watching Friday 13th, the final chapter, which is yep. the fourth installment in this franchise series. One of my favorite franchises. It was a good time. one. It was a good one. I told you. I was not going to yeah. go with a bad one, because originally I was going to do Jason X. Yeah. Which as bad as as bad as any of them are, they're still good. It's like yeah, pizza. It is. Um so, you know, we watched it and this was your first viewing like I said. Yes. And this is a special one for me. And we got to watch it with the mute yeah, family and uh Joe Bob and uh Darcy online. What did you think? I thought it was really good. I'm not going to lie. I think my favorite part of it was the story about Corey standing in front of the window. Mhm. Mm uh, because my initial reaction was, you know, dang, like, how are they going to do them like that? But yeah. then you told me the story, and I will let you tell the story okay. of why they did it that way. Um, which I thought was, you know, knowing now what we know, it's kind of funny. So, the the scene towards the end of the movie where um, Corey Feldman, is, uh, Tommy Jarvis, is standing by the window, and Jason comes in. And grabs him, and there's a true scream and look of terror on Corey Feldman's face. It got me that time. I jumped. It was That was because it was unexpected. He was not expecting him to come in and do that. And uh, supposedly Corey Feldman was being a bit of a brat on set at that point. Like It's not the word he used, but we'll keep it clean. <laughs> enough, of, enough of a brat where, it, you know, um, Jason just got annoyed and went right through him, right, right through the window and scared the bejesus out of him. I love it. And, uh, you know, supposedly all things are good now, but it was a lot of fun to see because you saw awesome. that look on his face. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... No, I mean, I had a lot of questions. So, okay. okay. So, I am a 
Worst case scenario, you know, I I don't even like going out to the car without having my phone in case something happens. And I see all these people and I'm like, okay, first of all, you're going to go swimming. You're going to throw a temper tantrum because your boyfriend is flirting with another girl who is a twin. Let's figure out what is actually going to happen at this party. He does come out. I'm proud of him for not Mm. following through with that. But... (laughs) You know, so she takes off all her clothes, which I'm not going to lie, I was kind of okay with. But if you're thinking about this in real life, who does that? Who takes off all their clothes in a scary, you know, foggy lake and then goes swimming and it's like, oh, screw you, Jason. Cool people, Mary. Uh, you know, we all did that in our 18, 19 year old ways. I mean, I did some stuff. I did some stuff with back in the day, but I never would have done that. Still. Fair enough. Okay, moving on. We don't want to know this stuff. Uh, I was innocent. I would have been the final girl. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, I hope so. <laughs> no, but... So, watching this movie, uh, I think it has the best kills. It had some good ones. Yep, you get the sleeping bag kill, which was, like, new for the time. Um, they, they revisit that in the series. Yeah. But that was like the first time you saw it. Uh, oh no, that wasn't the that wasn't this one. That was um, oh, I'm thinking seven. I'm sorry, because I was watching the marathon no, all no, day. No, no. So like rewatching this was just a lot of fun. But thinking about it, there were a lot of kills where it wasn't obvious what was going on. You know, like you had where she was in the boat. In the, yeah, and it came up. And it came up. So you, but you were like, I was looking at her face. And then I noticed, like, the knife coming up from her back. Yeah, um, they did that. So I thought that was kind of cool. The girl, the um, hitchhiker girl, uh, gets her in the neck. Um, <laughs> I loved I, her sign. That I was thought, awesome. yeah. Uh, the throw out the window, which was a cool one. <gasps> that was a cool one. And they did two out of the window. Like, one was a jump and one was a throw. Right. So it was pretty cool that they did that. I guess they had that um, stunt... <laughs> Uh, stunt uh, man or woman for that matter uh, for a couple of days and was yeah. like, let's just do them both do it um, so th- they also had the um, uh, what was the other one that was really cool the uh, wine yes that's my favorite that's my best friend and I in high school that we bonded to that scene like we would always joke and laugh about that scene well I feel like you need to explain a little bit well Crispin Glover bonding Glo- to that scene Crispin Glover's part um, in that the uh, dancing. Oh, oh my God, gosh. the best dancing ever. Uh, see, that that party ended at 9.30 at night <laughs> because they turned off his awesome playlist. They did. <laughs> so, you know, you got to rage for a little while before you get to that and slow stuff. And he was raging. He was raging. Okay. And he still got laid. So, I mean, it worked. That's legit. That's I guess legit. those dance moves work. Um, so, with <laughs> the, the when he gets the wine um, screw through his hand mm-hmm. and then turns around and gets a cleaver in the face. Oh um, my best friend Lenny, when we were in high school, did a presentation on horror movies and to get everybody's attention, he kind of turned that into a gift. It was, it was the video file, but he had no sound to it and it was right. real quick. So it's almost like an original gift. And, uh, it just, it got everybody in the, in their computer class was just like, Oh my God. And I was cackling <laughs> and it was just like, yeah, we're, we're friends yeah. and 25 years later. But, um. Yeah, so, I mean, that's why this movie is, like, near and dear to my heart, you know, like, you know, a lot of things about that, but, like, I can't believe I messed up on the sleeping bag thing, but, um, (laughs) like I said, I've been watching Friday the 13th all day, so, um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun, I'm glad you got to see this one, because... Yeah, it was good. You watched the second one, which I really liked, too, and Mm -hmm. you like that one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think you've seen part three, which is kind of goofy. Before is like taken pretty seriously, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, like, uh, it was. It was. It was not very campy. It really was like. Oh, it goes all out campy yeah. after this. Like it's definitely ramped right up to campy, it. but um, this is definitely the one where yeah, it was like they wanted to end the series on this high note, and it was different, and then it did so well. They were like, "We're coming back. But we killed Jason, so we have to figure it out." Yeah, I'm not even gonna explain five to you. You just have to watch that another day. Um, We're going to have to get a babysitter for an entire weekend and just... go. Th- I'll do it. I'll do go it. through them all. But, uh, yeah, so you so you liked the movie then? I did. I really did like this one. Cool. I did. I'm glad you did. I'm glad yeah, I chose it. I think right. it was a good mix of, of nudity, because let's all be honest. I mean, part of the reason that we watched 
these types of horror movies is for the nudity. Well, the three Bs. The three Bs. You don't know the three Bs, do you? All right, so to be fair, I am not a horror person. I like the romantic ones. And until I met you, you know, I would watch the ones where I knew people in the movie to, like, justify, okay, that is so-and-so, and and they were in this other movie, so this cannot be real. You know, the home invasion, those kind of movies, they freak me out, and I have nightmares. Well, I'm not telling you three Bs. I'm going to make you watch The Oath, and then you will learn them. And then for next time, she will know. Was someone I know in The Oath? Joe Bob. Oh. He created The Oath. Well, then I would be happy to. It's the drive-in oath. Hey. So, uh, some very cool stuff. I'm glad we got to see it yeah. with Joe Bob and Darcy hosting. Um, I had a good time tweeting, too. And I tweeting did a couple. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of very cool people yeah. in the Mutant fam that were tweeting tonight and had some funny very stuff. Very funny people. So, uh, yeah, just a great time, yeah. and I'm glad you enjoyed the movie. I did. And that is our review. So, I don't think I had to tell any of you, go check out Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Yeah. Uh, it is, like, again, the fourth installment, so watch them all. Why not? Just have a franchise and watch them all. Everybody's going to be home for the next couple of weeks, so might as well. Yes, that's true. And that leads me into my next thing. Make sure you are following uh, thescenesnobs.com. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Scene Snob. Uh, Go to thescenesnobs.com for all our links to go everywhere to our podcasts, our video shows, our articles, and so much more. Uh, everything's on there. Make sure you hit the notification, like, subscribe, and notification button uh, to because we have daily content. And we're going to try and entertain you and keep you yeah. having fun throughout being stuck at home quarantined. Yeah. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it. We've got some stuff that have has come out that's fun. We have more stuff planned to come we out do. that's fun. We do. Um, we're all in this together. We will make it through. And if you like horror movies and sci-fi movies and just basically the cult classics... Uh, check out our new podcast, Behind the Box, which... We, it's really good. Yeah, it's Saturdays it, it comes out. So it's myself and Rob Gosher. We are yeah. um, hosting that one. So go and check that out. Uh, also, we are trying to help people with small businesses. We know yeah. it's a tough time right now. So if you have a small business, we're offering free advertising on all of our shows. We'll mention you on our podcast, and we'll put up your logo on our videos. Yeah. Just to help you kind of along the way, maybe... It'll get people out or aware. So if you are interested, message us on any of the social media sites or, you know, on the website and such, and then uh, we'll be happy to do it. So, but until next time, happy Friday the 13th. Yes. Happy Friday the 13th. And happy birthday, babe. Thank you. And take care, everybody. Love you, mutant family. Had a fun time tonight. And good night. Good night.